So now that Easter is gone, we could talk about the fires and the bombings all over the world aimed at Catholic churches of all places. Uh, so, so the three that uh, that are newsworthy is obviously Notre, Notre Dame, right? Notre Dame in Paris, France, where they're still saying that it wasn't a bomb, it wasn't a fire, it wasn't arson, it wasn't. Nobody did it. No, no, no. It was, uh, well, I don't know. So they, now they're saying uh, they're blaming it on something in the in the elevator shaft of the workers. Well, somebody in the elevator shaft, one of the workers could have set a, set a fire. Right? So we'll look at that. That still doesn't make sense. That still comes up. Notre Dame still comes up arson. Let's look at, at um, Sri Lanka where... Over 200 people got blown up in eight churches. Look at that one. And the St. Patrick's kook here in New York who walked into St. Patrick's Cathedral with two gallons of gas, two cans of lighter fluid, and a couple of clickers ready to set a, set a fire uh, was finally charged with attempted arson. So let's, look, let's get right in. So let's look at the kook first. So here he is, ABC reporting. ABC reporting. Uh, don't tell me. You're going to make me watch a cartoon? Arrested at St. Patrick's Cathedral. Arrested at St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York with cans of gas and lighter fluid. Officials say he had booked a one-way flight to Rome. And earlier this week, he refused to leave a church in New Jersey. They described him as emotionally disturbed. Investigators in Paris believe an electrical short circuit is the likely cause of the fire at Notre Dame. Today's Good Friday observances will be held outside the church. Wood planks are being used to support the walls, and investigators have yet to get inside because of safety concerns. Now, isn't it interesting that ABC put those two together? They talk about they talk about the the guy who tries to slip into St. Patrick's here in New York and burn the church to the ground with two gallons of gasoline, and then they 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 shift right to oh no no St. Patrick's uh, Notre Dame was a uh, was an electrical circuit electrical circuit no 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 it wasn't a, it wasn't arson. So a part-time, let's just talk about the kid again, right? A part-time philosophy professor was charged with attempted arson on Thursday after he entered a historical cathedral with gasoline and lighters. Confirmed, right? Mark Lamparello. Mark Rampolello. No, Abba. No, Ali Abba. I am my own. I am my own. I am my own. I know you guys wanted it to be a... Uh, you know, uh, a, a Muslim Arab running across the roof, you know, but, uh, you know, in, in full Muslim garb. But this is just some some kook, kooky professor from New Jersey who tried to burn the joint to the ground. Former director of music. Got to watch those musicians, man. <laughs> so New Jersey Roman Catholic, he was arrested. That's all I wanted to say about that, that he was, it's not funny. It's really not funny. I was out in front of St. Patrick's yesterday doing the, uh, watching the Easter parade and the bonnet festival and uh places swarming with cops. They broke it up early because of, uh, you know, fear that the crowd just swelled, you know, and uh, no big deal though. Nothing happened. Again, it's to compare, to put uh, Notre Dame and St. Patrick's and uh, Sri Lanka and the cities of Europe where churches have been desecrated for over to the tune of 1000. Uh, St. Pat St. Patrick's here in New York is not, uh, in the same category, though it could have been. It could have been a fire. Uh, so so that's basically it. Th this guy is is crazy, right? He was Mark Lamparello, 37, of Hasbrook Heights, who faces attempted arson, reckless endangerment, and trespassing in the New York incident, refused to leave to frame Newark Cathedral, which is the fifth largest in uh, North America, uh, when a late mass had ended about uh, 1020. So he had done this a, a day or two earlier. Take me out in cuffs. Arrest me. I'm not leaving. So he's a, he's a nut job. Right? So he's charged. Now, is it coincidence? That's the thing, right? Is it, ah, uh, Notre Dame, now it's electrical circuit, blow up, and now here's this guy coming into the, coming into the church ready to burn the place to the ground, right? And then evidence is in, We'll talk about Sri Lanka in a second, right? Now, evidence is also in Germany. Four separate churches were vandalized. In virtually every instance of church attacks, authorities and media obfuscate the identity of the vandals. 
right? So there is a pattern of obfuscating the identity <clears throat> and the circumstances surrounding the actual fires in Europe, <clears throat> right? Hence, hence the trying to scapegoat Notre Dame as being an accident, right? So how many? In Germany, 1,063 1, attacks on Christian churches or symbols, crucifixions, icons, statues, were registered in France in 2018. Uh, 878 were registered the year before. Right? Massive rise in attacks, desecration, defecating, throwing shit at the, at the walls, twisting and burning crosses, statues of Jesus and Mary. Right? Religious attacks, right? So... So that's what's going on, right? So, hence, Notre Dame, no problem, no, 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 no. They're still denying, I don't know, it was a fire, it went up the hole, right? And um, so here's, here's watch, let's watch Notre Dame. Just an accident. Oh, electrical, electrical. You can see photos from the ground that show the damage inside after the fire. One photo shows light on candles in the nave still burning uh, as it left lit by uh, visitors uh, before the fire began. It's also possible to see a hole in the roof shot from inside. In another video, it's possible to see water from a hose directed towards internal structures. So rich businessmen coming to the rescue to rebuild Meanwhile, in France, yellow vests, millions of people marching in the street for 23 consecutive weeks. All right? Just, just a coincidence. It's all coincidence, and it's all just an accident. So investigators have pinpointed the start of the fire that ripped through Notre Dame on Monday. Uh, they haven't said anything, really. They're just saying they don't know. They don't know. They're pointing to somebody, some... some some nonsense about a uh, short circuit in the elevator shaft. Uh, so, Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka, a mostly a mostly Buddhist nation, uh, and um, off the tip of India, and uh, a lot of there's there's Arabs, there's Muslims, there's uh, <clears throat> what else? There's some Catholics there. They got I don't think they got any Jews there. <laughs> They should import some Jews there so they complete. Right? So here's the here's this is this is very sad, right? This is real. All right. So, so so the thing in in New York, uh, of course, we're in America, so I have to slant it towards the you know, and America and Europe, the West. But this is real, right? So uh, a church really burned in France. A church almost burned in New York, and these these eight churches definitely got blown up in Sri Lanka. Uh, a wave of bombs that killed. 290 people in Sri Lanka on Sunday was carried out with the support of an international network, officials say. Right, so here, someone's taking taking responsibility. The government has blamed the little-known local jihadist group, National Thwahad Jamath, although no one has ad admitted carrying out the attacks. So it's just a finger point. It's a finger point. Another 500 people were injured in the suicide attacks on churches and hotels. Incredible. 800, that, that brings it up to 790 people, either dead or, or injured. A nationwide emergency will be declared. Okay, police have arrested 24 people in a series of raids. That's good. Meanwhile, another blast rocked the street near a church in capital Colombo on Monday. Azam Amid. Uh, okay, so, so bombs are going off. Bombs are going off all over Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka's social media after Easter Sunday bombings is blocked. Oh, that's a good idea, Sh Sri Lanka. Block the social media. Block the media from telling people what the hell happened. That's a great idea. If you want to, you, 
I, it makes no sense to me. That that sort of thing, the same thing in New Zealand when they when they want to stop everybody from seeing what happened so that they can whip up an official narrative. It, it's 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 ass backwards. Show people what happened. Sri Lanka authorities flickered off switch, f- flicked the off switch on most social media after Easter Sunday's attacks on churches and hotels, killing hundreds of people, a dramatic reaction that reflects distrust in the capability of American internet companies to control harmful content. Well, I would distrust American internet companies, but not to control harmful <laughs> internet content. Uh, there is no, what is harmful? What is harmful about seeing what happened? Big mistake. Big mistake. We're here to help you. We're here to help you and analyze and investigate with you and for you on behalf of you. Not to, not to, uh, to exploit you and humiliate you. We want to see the video. We don't have emotional attachment like you. Okay, great. But still, we have the ability to, to do research and help you. Stupid. The block on social media included Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and uh, YouTube as well. Snapchat, Viber. They blocked every Twitter appeared. Twitter appeared unaffected. Uh, so you, could, you might be able to get some some real information on Twitter from the people inside Sri Lanka. So official Sri Lanka. Oh, now they'll blame. They're going to blame now officials. Uh, blaming Sri Lanka failed to heed warnings of attack. Of course, right? here's the poor people suffering over the dead, the dead, over their dead loved ones, and now the now the they're gonna they're gonna get blamed for not heeding the call. Sri Lanka officials failed to heed warnings from intelligence agencies. <laughs> what intelligence agencies? Uh, about the threat of an attack by a domestic radical Muslim group that officials blame for. Uh, Easter Sunday bombings that killed more than 200 people, the country's health minister said Monday. So here comes now, now, oh, yeah, watch, the, the, the Americans and the, the NATO and are going to come in and they're going to help the help all the Sri Lankan people and then they're going to take their resources and destabilize the nation. <laughs> They'll use it as an excuse to get in there and, uh, and, and, and mix it up. Uh, so it doesn't say specifically international intelligence agencies warned of the attacks since April 4. What? What kind of, what kind of warning? Oh yeah, there's a, there's, there's Muslims looking to burn churches. Well, we already knew it. I mean, even, even a guy sitting in his mother's basement knows it because if you don't stop blocking the goddamn internet, stop censoring out your, your media and maybe people would know and people would... So, so anyway, that's uh, Marcus Conti reporting on uh, the burning churches, the all the cities of Europe, and now and now Sri Lanka, almost New York, have burned to the ground. Notre Dame, that's really the subject matter. We know that it, the the guy in New York wasn't on his way to a barbecue, and he was on his way to burn burn St. Patrick's in New York to the ground, right? Right before Easter, the Friday, on Good Friday, the day when Jesus was, was nailed to the cross. He burned, he was going to burn the sh- motherfucker to the ground for Easter Sunday, right? And, uh, and then in Sri Lanka, no, 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 uh, they didn't hold their punches there. Eight bomb, eight, eight churches blown, to, blown up. Right? And uh, so the point is, Notre Dame, in the center of Europe, it's it's becoming it's becoming unbelievable to believe that it was an accident. Right? Evidence all over Europe: thousands of churches are desecrated and burned. In Sri Lanka, boom, boom, boom. In New York, almost. Right? Notre Dame, find it out, French people. Stop it already. Let's call call it what it is. Right? Call it what it is. Did somebody burn the joint? Inquiring minds want to know. Marcus Conti reporting. Kindly become a Patreon of the channel. I will send you some stickers. You'll get some amazing stickers if you do that. Whatever you, you know, whatever you, uh, in whatever capacity you join, even $2 on Patreon, I'll, as long as you include your, your mailing address, I'll send you some free stickers. Uh, you, you could go to part of fucking Sparta. Sparta. Uh, and um, also, if you make a Patreon, uh, PayPal, 
uh, donation. You could also buy those stickers on eBay. Just buy them outright. So, uh, so uh, what else? Do I want to do? So, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Marcus Scott, reporting.